Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I am Veronica and today's video I'm gonna show you how I made this tear tray garland with handmade beads. So you can make your own unique beads for every project of yours. So first I started with styrofoam balls and hearts. Then I use some molds and some air drying clay. I roll out the air drying clay on the mold itself, making sure it will fit onto my heart, styrofoam heart. And then I glued the air drying clay with the image of the mold onto the heart ornament or styrofoam heart, I would say. I glued it all with express glue from Pentart. The same process was on the smaller hearts as well. I just roll out the air drying clay on the flexible mold and then I took it out and glued it on the small hearts with glue. For some other beads I use different sizes of styrofoam ball. First I painted those uh, white but technically you can skip this step because we're gonna glue some air drying clay on them as well. This time I took a little bit of air drying clay. I rolled out it to be pretty thin, making sure it will fit on one half of my styrofoam ball. Then I use a stencil and then I went ahead and carefully glued it on the styrofoam ball, making sure I am not ruining my design. Then I went ahead and glued it on the one half of the styrofoam ball and took off any excess of it, making sure it fits on one half of the ball. Then in the middle of the design, I just glued some pearl mold. Of course, you can do whatever design you want. This is the one I made. It was a Alice in Wonderland inspired tear tray garland. And after gluing the pearls on the styrofoam ball, I thought it needed something else. So I just took the flexible mold. There was the roses and I just pressed a little bit of clay inside the mold. And here we are some little roses designs. And here we are onto the next styrofoam balls. Let's make a glitter one. So first I am not using glue. I am using paint and this time I am using black paint because I am gonna apply black glitter. And when the pa paint is still wet, I am just applying glitter on it and let it dry. After my clay beads were dry, it was time to paint them. So first I just paint them with black paint and I wiped off any excess of the paint when the paint was still wet. Thank you. 
After the black paint was dry, I applied some gold metallic paint on it. Also, I just wiped off any excess for a little bit of shabby, chic, rustic look. Then I of course painted the roses, the tiny roses with red paint as well. And again, I just wiped off any excess of the paint. After my beads were dry, I just sealed them with matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy one as well, but I was going into the rustic kind of look. The same varnish I use for the hearts as well, so I seal them with matte varnish. After the varnish was dry, I applied metal leaf glue on the hearts. And after the glue became transparent, I applied decor foil on the hearts as well. I forgot one step, I did seal it with solvent based varnish after. Then I used some 3D decor pen to apply here and there on the beads themselves. It was, I was tracing the rose design on the beads and then after the glue became transparent, I used metallic flakes to put on the beads and it only stick there where there was the glue before. Since this is Alice in Wonderland, the inspired theater garland, I use some cutouts like a teapot and some cups for my garland as well. So first I just painted everything white. I applied two coats of the paint, let it dry between la each layer. After it was dry, I applied a little bit of decoupage glue on the teapot itself then i pressed down the rice paper with alice in wonderland theme and then i seal it with more decoupage glue i let the whole thing dry as you can see i didn't do anything with it after it was dry i took some sandpaper and send off any excess of the paper itself so my teapot became visible On the other side of the teapot, I just painted it with black paint and then I painted it with a little bit of gold paint as well because I was going for the gold rustic design look. After applying the gold paint uh, as it was still wet, I just took off any excess with wet towel and the same towel 
which has technically the paint on, I just rub it on the other side of the teapot as well. After it was dry, I applied some glitter decoupage glue. Of course, you can skip this step if you don't have glitter decoupage glue. If you do, just make sure there is no excess of the glue because that will dry out white, not clear. After the glue was dry, I am sealing my teapot. Uh, of course, I am using pouring glaze. You can use varnish as well. I applied four layers of the glaze and let it dry between each layer. After it was dry, it was time to decorate my other side of the teapot. So I used some Alice in Wonderland stencil with 3D glue paste and some rose stencil with this 3D glue paste. Let it dry until it was transparent. And when the glue became transparent, I applied the metallic snowflake on the teapots and cups as well. And I clean any excess of the metallic flakes with soft brush. And then it was time finally to make my tear tray garland. For the tassel I am using wool. I like to make my own tassels so I can get the colors I want for my tear tray garlands. With a big needle, I am alternating some wooden beads, my handmade beads, to make my Alice in Wonderland inspired garland. And here it is all finished, my Alice in Wonderland inspired garland. Of course, you can make whatever beads 
you need for your project. This is just one of the example I made for my Alice in Wonderland series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please do give me a thumbs up or a comment. How did you like this kind of video? Until next time, bye.